Hello and welcome to this week's ITL. Hope y'all had a good week last week. Oh, this week, it's actually warming up this week, this weekend. And I'm um, getting over a cold. <laughs> I'm getting over a cold. Barely was able to get up and get off of this ITL, but uh, it is what it is. But we are, we're doing what we're doing, we're doing. Working on the snowblower, trying to get it up and ready for the season. Yeah, we got our first snowfall. Well, it's just a dusting, but we got our first snowfall and it's stuck for the morning. And uh, that's it. It's considered for a snowfall, which is the dusting. So, yeah, I got out and started looking at the snowblower. It's spent most of its life with me. Sit on the back porch. So to me, that's uh, outside living because I mean it's not enclosed or anything. It's out to the moisture. And it's a 1992 model, and I've had it since 2005, 2006. It was my dad was original owner. He bought it, and. Uh, Nobody really owned it. Nobody really ran it too much until I owned it. Because he got it and he used the heck out of it for the first couple of days. And got to the point where, well, that, after a couple of days, nobody could start it. It was a hard starter. And, you know, it had electric start. Nobody really wanted it because they couldn't pull start it. If you shut it down, nobody, you couldn't pull start it too easily. It was just a, I mean, it was, it was a brutal for pole starting. Uh, so, uh, it stayed in his basement for most of his life until I got it. And, uh, then he passed away. Whenever he passed away, I got my hands on it. Well, what it was is I moved back home. And I used it for his property while he was living then whenever he passed away I end up getting my hands on it and used it for my property and his and then the story moved on and uh, yeah but now it needs new skids, skids put on so I picked it up last year and so I'm going to be putting new skids on it which instead of getting the cheap uh, I don't know if they're any better. The nylon skids, I got the original stock metal skids. Which, for what I do, they'll work. These are what they look like, the original stock ones. And, uh, the, the, the poor thing, it's got the original stock wheels and rubber on it. And, uh, yeah, the one side, it doesn't want to keep air in anymore. I'm pulling a generic, yeah, I'm doing something stupid. Yeah, you can guess. And I'm, that's all further I'm going. I'm trying something stupid, and if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. And uh, we'll just say the only way that wheel's coming off is with using some heat. Because it's just, it's rested on there pretty good. I've never had the need to pull the pin on it and move it, so I never did it. Because it takes, you pull a pin off it and you move the wheel. You pull it off. I just never had the need to do it, so I just never did it. So, uh, yeah. With all the salt through the years and stuff. Without using some heat to it, it ain't coming off. Heating the sledgehammer. And uh, with that, then I'm getting a new wheel for it. Just going to need a whole new wheel because that, that rim is shot. It just rusted the bits. So, it is what it is. So I figured, the rim shot, let's try something crazy and stupid. You see it all over YouTube and all over the internet. Some people say it works. Some people say, a lot of people would say it does. 
I say let's try it. If it does work, it does work. If it doesn't, it doesn't. So let's, let's try. <laughs> At the most, um, it just sits there. I'm out, I'm out maybe 15 bucks. It's not a big deal. You know. Oh, but I figured, you know what, this week, I really wanted to, uh, I was cleaning up a bit, and uh, I came across the Mrs. Old cell phone. This is one of her old ones, in blue. Really old one. And it's, it's a big one. You can see the size of my hand. Big screen. And it still, it still fires up and still works. An old Android, and uh, I thought to myself, you know, still got uses, and uh, I figured I'd bring it up on the on the ITL and uh, talk about. It. So I mean, these guys, you know what? These guys got an old cell phone. I like, just don't toss in the garbage. Don't, don't, absolutely not. First place. I mean, if you got a giving heart, if you got a giving heart, you can wipe off your uh, your information off of these. Wipe them off clean. And you can donate these things and to different places and what they'll do is they'll put time on these and give them to the armed forces and they'll use them and put time on them and let them call home and as far as I know it's for free of charge as far as I know I might be wrong with that and I think there might be limitations on how old the phones are on that, but it's worth a try. I mean, it's better than just toss them in the garbage. But if it's not too, too old, I mean, why not? But if you want to, if you're a ham radio operator, though, there's lots of other uses. You can use these, too. Lots of other uses. I mean, especially if you got an old Balfang, if you got Balfang, UV5R, I mean, you can, I mean, you can, you can download pictures using UV5R and receive pictures with them by using, download, uh, go up, use Google Play on, with these, go online, it's free, go free internet. Download it, the apps, and uh, receive pictures using your Balfang. Um, there's so much different things you could do. Just getting a cable hooks into your Balfang and an old cell phone. I mean, it's just so cool. Don't throw your old cell phones away. And if you don't mind being tracked a little bit, I mean, myself, I mean, you can always disconnect it and throw it away. It's not, a, it's not a big deal. I mean, you can go APRS. I mean, I've got, I use that a little bit off and on. I don't care if the wife knows where I'm at on the bike. I run it every now and then. I just tell her, I said, hey, uh, I'll let her run. That way the, it stops. She knows, hey, it stopped pinging right here. Uh, we need to find out where what happened. Just a thought. Or if you're a jogger or a hiker through the woods, you have to set up your Balfang radio. You can have a backup or a battery if you want to. Just a thought. I mean, there's, there's cheaper, not cheaper, there's lighter ways to do it. But if you don't want to sink the money into it, you can do it that way too. Just, just thinking. Just thinking. Uh, but yeah, I was out and about just getting the uh, things set up in the garage, getting ready for the winters. Because it's here. It's, I mean, snows are falling. I mean, we're, we're just got to get ready. I mean, the heat's I fired up the heater. Get the garage all warmed up. Make sure it's going to be all ready. Gotta make sure that just in case the power goes out, the generators are fired up. Now, something I am going to be saving up for. I forget what it's called, though. I should be using the right terminology. There is a switch I do want to install on the house. 
to be able to hook the generator up to. So we don't kill electric the electric man. That we can safely hook the generator up to the house and cut the run the house up because I want to be able to hook up my one generator up to the house and run a lot of the stuff so, so much things up to the house and have that way the power comes on I'm not killing electric men and I can switch things on and off and there's a there's a box you can put on there to switch and stuff and if anybody's interested in hey what is he talking about I can add to it and stuff. I do know what I'm talking about. It's just, it's just, it's just escapes my mind right now. Um, and I do have a generator that would handle most of the stuff in the house right now. It's a portable generator. Uh, except for an AC. And I, to be honest with you, I don't care about the AC. I'll use a small finger. I don't care right now. Um, what I worry about is my furnace in the wintertime. A, the, the main things in the wintertime. The main things. And I run LED lights for most of my... The, the important things has LED lighting. That way they run almost nothing. The rest of it, it doesn't matter because I don't run them. Those won't be in the circuits that will be in accounted for. But I'll be, uh, for now, I'll be doing the uh, extension cords for now. It's not the way you really should be doing it, but it's, it'll work for now until I get it all set up. It, the muzzle mic is not made out of money, but uh, everything will come in, come, come in time make things work because I mean I got my radios to work with too I mean I, I do want to get my radios to work too <laughs> we got I mean we gotta make things everything work at the same time <laughs> I gotta keep my bikes going too I mean I do this because you guys can't see her but she's my, the goat's right here and she's my girl next to my wife I mean my wife comes first of course well it's, it's, it's an even toss -up. no my wife comes first the goat comes second. Uh, the goat comes second. But yeah. It is what it is. And we got to take care of life. And I'm making sure that the generators, which I did end up getting a power, an hour meter. My generator did not come with an hour meter. Most of the generators that I deal with, they don't. So I end up just buying an hour meter, installing them. They're easy to install. Um, I made sure that the oil was changed, which I use a, a thinner oil for winter time because I know it's going to be winter time. Now I will be dropping that oil as soon as winter time's gone, and using a thicker stuff that way. Summertime, because it's summer. It, first place it might get a little bit of dampness in oil anyway, which I say BS in kind of way. But it's good practice. It's good practice. And I can drop that oil out and put a little bit of thicker oil for summertime. It's not a big deal. And I'll run it for a couple minutes and make sure she's good and ready. It gets me to play anyway. It don't hurt anything. And I finally got to find, I bought them years ago. I'm missing the eye. The letters T L. I've always been missing the eye. I gotta get the eye. I always, I always want them to get a board and put them in the background. T L. Uh, finally got them. Put up in the background for these guys. I want to get the eye set up for it. Oh, uh, but yeah, I just want to get them out there, get it ready, because I know the winter time's going across the United States. You gotta be prepared for it. Bad weather's coming. We got more hurricanes coming from the south. Don't be, don't mean, we're not done here. 
We're not done with the bad weather. And after the hurricanes, we got snow coming, guys. Snow coming. And the bad weather is not done with us. We got snow, we got ice. We'll be digging out. So, yeah, we're not done playing here, guys. Don't sound happy here. So, don't get too comfortable. Don't get too comfortable. But we need to take care of each other, too. So, uh, if you got a neighbor, you got another YouTuber, it's not too far away. It doesn't hurt to, you know, pick up a ring ding or uh, send an email and say, hey, how are you doing? Can I help you in any way? You know, one way or another. Because we all can use a helping hand every now and then. This is Muzzle Mike. <sighs> Hoping you a blessed week. And, uh, oh, you know, really helping you a blessed week. This has been, this last week's been really running me out. Signing out. 73.